Hi guys, hey. I'm doing math. Should say problem set three dash three. And then it's the lesson. Lesson three. Okay. Now I've gotten some of your work back. And some of you guys are doing worksheets we haven't worked on. You got to watch the videos because by doing a worksheet that I have not went over, you're not going to know whether you're right or wrong. And I've seen some things that are not correct, so you have to follow along these videos. Okay? So the page says 42, and it's got it like this. Now what they're doing is we're going to do all these math problems, and each of these are giving us a letter, and then at the bottom... We're going to fill in the joke of which tables do you not have to learn. Because we learn our multiplication tables and division tables. We are learn different tables, but there's one we do not have to learn. Okay, so you need to get on this page, page 42. The top one says, what are we looking for? E. And that's 5 times 4 equals Okay, so this one's a simple one. Let's just multiply 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 5, 10, 15, 20. So E equals 20. Okay, so then what you're going to do is at the bottom down here, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's seven like lines with numbers underneath, and then two, three, four, five, six. So we do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then under each, under each, underneath each of them have numbers. Nine, six, seventy, three, five. 20, 10, 70, 24, 2, 7, 20, 4. So what this means is for each of the answers, whatever letter you find, which we found E, E equals 20. So that means we need to fill in 20, E, the letter E, on any line down here that says 20. Okay, so that's a 9, a 6, a 70, a 3, a 5, oh, 20. Write the letter E here. See if there's any other 20, 70, 24, 2, 7, 20. E there. Okay. Now the next one. 24 divided by I equals yeah. Oh, you guys can see it. And then I equals sorry, equals, and we're looking for the letter, the answer to this. Now, what they're asking is, how many times can four go into twenty-four? Because that's going to give us the answer. This one right here. Okay. So they want to know twenty-four divided by what equals four. But we have to do it backwards to figure this out. We can either look at 4 times what equals 24. So count by 4s. Or you can go with 24 and we got to figure out what divided by 24 equals 4. I think we count by our 4s until we hit 24. And then that's going to give us how many times 4 goes into 24, which will be the answer to that. So you got to count by your 4s all the way up to 24. Do a finger for each of the 4s you're counting by. Okay? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So how many we got? 1, 2, 6. So I equals 6. So we write 6 in that little thing next to it. Now we have to find 6s. Oh, there's a 6. 6 down here is I. Any other sixes? Nope. Okay. 
number three. We're going to find S. 32 divided by, no, sorry, 32 equals S divided by yeah. S times. And then S equals blank. Okay, so what this one is, is the same thing. When they're giving us the answer and they're telling us, they want to know what times 8 equals 32. So in order to do that, all you have to do is we got to count by our 8s until we hit 32. Okay. 8, 16, 24, 32. S equals 4. So up here, write 4 in your cloud. It says S. And then let's go down here. Find the number 4. And then that's S. 9, 6, 73, 5, 20, 10. No. 70, 24, 2, 7, 20. Oh, 4. So we write the letter S. Okay. Let's go back up. Next one. 8 divided by, no, sorry, 8 equals 80 divided by n, and then n equals blank. So, same type things. What they ultimately want to know is what times 8 equals 80. We can either, some of us might already know, because it's our tens factors. So how do we get 8 into 80? How many times? 8 times what equals 80? 10, right? But we can go and do the math real quick. Fingers will count by 8s. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. How many fingers? 10. N equals 10. And then find your 10 down here. 9, 6, 73, 5, 20, oh, 10. That's an N. 70, 24, 2, 7, 24, nothing there. Now let's go to the next one. 4 equals 36 divided by K. K equals blank. Okay? So now we're going to count by our fours until we get to 36, and that'll give us our number. Okay? Count by your fours. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. How many fingers do we have up? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So K equals 9. Now we got to find 9. Oh, and that's a K. The first one, K. Okay. Next one, we're finding the letter A. 8 equals A divided by 3. Okay, so now when they do it this way, this is a little bit more difficult. We can't count by our threes, that's not going to get us our answer. What they want to know is we got to figure out what divided by three equals eight. So now what we're doing is if they're giving us a division one, we want to multiply. Eight times three gives us our answer. So we can count by threes how many times? Eight, or we can count by our eights three times. We'll do our threes eight times to get our answer. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. We got eight fingers. We counted our eight three times, or I mean three eight times. It is twenty-four. So the letter A 
equals 24. Now we got to find the number 24 down here. No, 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 no. 70, oh, 24. That's the letter A. Anyone know what it is yet? So funny right now. I'm sure you all are going to die when you get this answer. All right, we're trying to find the letter T. 21 divided by 3 equals T. And T equals, okay. We got to count by our threes until we hit 21. Okay. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. What's it equal? Five, six, seven. T equals seven. So find your T. Is that one? Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Oh, that's why, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't do anything. These are L's. Okay? So let's find our L, our sevens, and that's going to be L's. So find our seven. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. We're looking for L's. I mean seven, 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 and that'll be L's. Is that 70? Nope, 70, 24, two. L here. Okay. Let's go back up. Now we're trying to find the letter C. It says C equals blank. And the problem is, 21 equals C times 7. Now we got to count by our 7s until we hit 21. That'll give us our answer. 7, 14, 21. C equals 21. Now let's find our 21. Oh, no, guys. Sorry, sorry. C. See, I even make mistakes. We kind of C equals three. Now find our three and put in our C. Okay. So down here, find your three and write in C. Okay. Next one is T. T divided by 10 equals. Seven. And T equals blank. Okay. So we're going to find what divided by ten equals seven. So we are actually multiplying these two numbers because that is reverse. Instead of dividing, we're going to actually multiply. So what is seven times ten equals? 7 times 10. Remember, we just take off the first letter number and write in the 7. T equals 70. And then find our 70s and write T. 70 T. 70 T. I'm sure you guys can figure it out now. Now B. 24 divided by B equals... 12, and B equals blank. So what we need to do, because we're dividing, we're going to have to see how many times 12 goes into 24, and that'll give us our answer. Or what times 12 equals 24, because we go backwards. So let's just divide 12 into 24. We're going to have to count by our 12s to get this answer. Are you ready? This one's not an easy one. 12, 24. It only goes in two times. So B equals two. So find our two. 
I'll write in the letter B. We got one word, tables. Now we're pretty sure we already know the answer already. But it is 35 equals seven times H. H equals. Okay. And what is seven times what equals 35? We can come by our sevens to hit 35. Seven, 14, 21, 28. 35. H equals 35. And right here, I mean, sorry, 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 guys. We already get those. H equals 5. And this is H. So what kind of tables don't we have to work on? Memorize? The kitchen tables. <laughs> that one was a good one, wasn't it, gentlemen and ladies? So, tomorrow... We're going to do the Lesson 3 Problem Set, it's two pages of it, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.